Hey guys, it is Sunday, 2.23 p.m. and while the, the staff are on their day off, um, we're gonna go and frame Taiyo Nauta. Yep, she is finally finished. And here is the smallest size that we have her in. But look at that, she's glowing and that glow is thanks to the electric diamonds that have been placed on the codes just behind her neck area and her ear area which is kind of like a glow from a, a light, a backlight. And then she's got some glow also on her goggles, her steampunk goggles. So we're now going to frame this, and I'm going to show you what I will do with the framing. Basically, because it's very steampunk, and I actually personally love uh, steampunk fashion, it's just not possible to go full on steampunk in the Philippines because it's so humid here. It's like really, really hot. So, and that's throughout the whole year. People were asking, oh, is it spring there already? And basically we only have two kinds of weather in the Philippines. It's either the wet weather or the dry weather. Right now it's the dry weather, which means it is also very hot. The only time it ever gets kind of cool in the Philippines is during the stormy season, which is the rainy season. But we don't really have like winter, spring, autumn. Um, we only have summer and summer. <laughs> Wet summer and dry summer. So we're on the dry summer right now. But yeah, um, back to steampunk and back to Medusa the doll maker's Dayo Nauta. I'm going to go on ahead and frame this today and show you how by using nothing else but a canvas, the usual acrylic paint, brush, but we will also be incorporating some steampunk gears and also some charms so i'll show these to you in detail later and i'm basically gonna line the frame after it's been painted on with these gears so let's start so first we need the finished diamond painting and in this case we have the 42 by 30 taiyo Nauta by medusa the doll maker Next thing that we need is a canvas. And we need to make sure that there is going to be a border around the canvas. So in this case, we have enough area to be able to decorate the frame so it really matches our painting. And in this case, it is a steampunk uh, theme with a woman wearing steampunk goggles and very steampunk feel to it. So we're gonna match that to the feel of this painting. Next thing that we're going to need is, of course, a brush. And you can use just any regular thick brush. It doesn't have to be like the best kind because you're really just going to evenly apply the acrylic. And with that in mind, we'll need some acrylic paint. I'm going to use satin, acrylic, and silver. And this is a semi-matte finish. And this has a finish that looks very uh, metallic. Next thing, we'll need either a bowl, it will do, but in this case, I would just use an artist palette, and this is the kind that you can just tear off after because sometimes I kind of get lazy cleaning my, my bowls and my palettes, and then the ink and the acrylic starts getting stuck on there, and it's difficult and impossible to wash off. So I just use these so that it becomes disposable and it serves its purpose. But you can also use paper plates. That also works very well. Of course, we're going to need some glue. I use Elmer's glue. Um, this is extra strong formula which of course dries fast and it's good to be able to stick um, different kinds of objects onto each other so I trust Elmer's. And then we've got some gears on here that we are also going to apply on the frames and let me show you <clears throat> some of the ones we've got on here. We've got like a clock which is very steampunk. Another clock over here. More clocks over here. Tiny clock. Another one. So these are all clocks, basically. And then we've got like the hands of the clocks. More clocks. So these are all basically clock related. So these are all clock gears, which we will be placing on the border of 
the canvas once it's been painted. And then this next set, I might use all, I might use just some of it, but <clears throat> I'll just show you all of what I have right now. And these are gears. So it's just gonna add like a lot of uh, three dimensional feel to this diamond painting. Aside from the fact that it's shining, it's gonna be framed in something that actually pops up or pops out. All right, so we are going to use these in our Taiyo Nauta diamond painting framing video. All right, let's start. majority of our front painted in silver and now we need to still paint the sides. Um, the challenge with painting larger canvases is it's difficult to hold it in the middle like a pizza like what I'm doing right now which is basically having I'm um, holding it like this. So what you can do is get something that is at least about um, six or seven inches off the table, maybe a box, a shoe box, or it could be like a container like this or something else, just so long as you have enough um, width for you to be able to lay your canvas on top and still be able to like turn it and stuff. So um, this for me helps. So now we can continue painting the sides without having to worry about staining the table that I'm painting it on. And so all you have to do is like lift up. As you can see, I'm lifting it up and it's staying put and now I can support the canvas with the basket that I have underneath holding it in place. That way I don't have to hold it all and, and balance it all on my own which may be a bit more difficult as you continue to paint the canvas. So this makes it more stable. <music> we're done we don't really have to fill it in entirely because we're gonna have the diamond painting on top of it but now that we have painted all around we can now let it dry so we're just gonna let this sit somewhere and let it dry see now you've got a drying um, a drying platform too when you have this thing underneath. So that serves a, a second purpose. So now that we've moved that aside and then we can get rid of this. I love this because you can just peel it off. A well, rocket's here. Wanna hold this rocket? Thank you. Careful, okay, it's got wet paint. And we can just tear this off. There, and we fold it and then throw it away. <laughs> Mommy needed to throw that one. Okay. Now it's time to cut this up, but let me go get this off of Rocket's hands. Always remember to rinse your brushes after you're done using them so they don't stiffen up. They still will stiffen up even if you've rinsed it with water, um, but it will be easier to use and just kind of wet and it'll get softer again after if you've rinsed the paint off first. Otherwise, it's gonna create like a concrete sort of coating on the bristles. Excuse me, Mommy. Uh-huh. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. What is it? Gears. Gears for who? Now that we have 
Now we can just wait for our frame, our canvas to dry, and now we're gonna stick this onto that. So that should be in about two hours. To stick these in some of the canvas for designs. See? This one is part of the clocks. I go see. See? Look, a clock. That kind of clock. And this one is a real clock, right? Mm -hmm. Look. See? And this one is the one I don't know. But this one, it looks like the one in the top is going to make a, like the bird. See it? And we have another kind of one. This tiny one the machines and there's another one this one tiny one and more tiny yeah, one all right thanks rocket see you later we're going to take this in the cabinet that's right so now it's time to frame this painting medusa the doll makers dionauta and remember rocket what we talked about look she's got two different colored eyes you know what that's called Hetero. Hetero. Chromia. Chromia. <laughs> Hetero chromia. That's right. How do you got it? Um, it's a genetic um thing. thing. From who? Some people are just born with it. Born? But it's I think it's pretty cool. So here is the canvas. We waited about an hour and a half and I checked it. So in the meantime I was editing some videos. And now we're gonna just lay it on top. So there you go. We painted just perfect because not too much, so we don't waste too much of the acrylic paint, but there is enough that it covers the entire canvas around it. So we just have to make sure now that this is going to be even all around. So before anything else, let's move the camera back. Rocket's busy opening the glue. He's excited. So now, have you got the glue open, Rocket? Not yet? Oh, it's a bit... Okay. Sometimes you need some scissors. Scissors, okay? See? Because the glue kind of got stuck. Alright. Hold it. Firstly, we have to make sure that this is even. We want an even frame. Does it look even? What do you think? I think it is. Yeah? Yes. So now we're going to flip this over and then here. Let me Is it open all the all the way? Yeah. Okay, let's. We got to open it all the way. Open. Up. Yeah. And hand me the glue rocket. Thank you. So now we're just going to How is apply the glue we have to apply it thinly but we have to spread it out rocket because if it's too thick on one side it's not going to look nice too thick mm -hmm. mm, wait what does that mean you have to apply thinly see i'm doing like a crisscross so it's thin application but it fills in the entire space as much as possible. See that? Let's press lightly. Press lightly. See? If we do it lightly, but a lot, but it's light, um, it does not come out on the edges. Okay, now on the other side. Let's do the other side. Here, you want to hold mom? Well, hold this. Help mommy. Hold on to that. Fall. Press down. We check if there's not enough on the corners because I didn't want it coming out. So we need to add some more. Okay, press down. 
more in the corners over here. I think this is good because I can't lift it. <laughs> All right, now to make sure that it is good to go, we tap it. And what's better is let's use Mark's tumbler <laughs> so that we can roll. Yes, I want to try. Want to roll? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Here, let's move it this way so you can roll. Like this? Yeah. Put a little bit of force. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a half. A half, okay. I'll do the other half. Is that cool? Yes. Okay. All right. Wait, now I'm going to do it this way. Okay. So funny, Mark left this. No, they really leave it when they go home. Why? Because they use it for work. Oops. All right, I think that's good. Mommy will do the other half. Okay. Oh, watch your hand. No, not like that. Only halfway. It's okay. Just to make sure that the glue is stuck on there. Okay, last one. Okay. Then why I did not see Simon's water? It's okay, it's there. I, I moved where? it. And we are done with that part. I only see Joanne's and the marks only. Okay. I only do not see um all right, so Rocket and I are laying them down, and as Rocket lays them down, put some more, Rocket. I'm gonna start gluing these pieces. So it is 10.29 p.m. same day and Reggie and I went to the mall to get some supplies and uh, I returned to see that it has completely dried and so here it is to show it to you guys. Taiyo Nauta by Medusa the doll maker framed in silver and steampunk gears and clock. So here are all of the gears that we placed earlier. We've got them right over there in the corner. Some are actually sticking out over here, which is done on purpose just to give it that like 3D effect. So it's not just a flat 
uh, piece of art. It's kind of like how when painters do the texturing, so it gives it that same sort of feel. And then we've got more on the top parts as well. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. And as a big fan of steampunk art and costume, this is definitely one of my favorites.